Alright, Daryl Crow here. We got something exciting today. We're going to go back and get all wet in the ocean. Okay, we're painting Cape Lighthouse. And today we're focusing on the waves out there in the ocean, especially that major wave that's coming up front. I can't wait to get started, so let's dispense with everything and start in there. Okay, we're going to mix up our colors for the water. We're going to put in the uh, two major waves that we have, and I'll start out by getting some of the uh, thalo blue, and we want to get the darkest color first. Now I'm using the number four bristle, and I think that we'll just take a moment here and go ahead and spray our acrylics. Okay, anything you want to preserve, spray it now. Okay, now here we go. We've got uh, the blue right here. we we'll just put a touch of the brown in with it, touch of the purple. Ooh, what a nice color. All right, but it's still a bit on the dark side, so I'm going to go ahead and lighten it up. And again, I think I'll just, ooh. Now to control the amount of paint I have on the brush, I'm going to clean this brush, okay? Because you don't want to put tons of uh, paint. So clean it off, dry it, and here we go. Just a couple, all right? And I only have brush paint on the top side and the paint is up. All right, as I start over here and come forward, I'm going to be doing the Z stroke. So the very first step in making the waves is let's make the water move. And we're gonna need three colors to do that, see? All right, we don't really have a dark enough color. Okay, so we'll come back over here and get some of this other color that we had previously mixed. Okay, so one side, just this side has paint, this side does not. So there we go. All right, and we'll only go down about a third of the way. Now, I'm going to take some even flow because that is not uh, going on too smooth. Okay. So, here we go. See, there we are. We're starting to get this water to move. Go over the edge, come back, destroy it, come back. All right, there we are. And this bristle is doing this quite nicely. All right, now we want to pick up with the lighter color right underneath, all right? And that will be our darker color as we go forward. And again, we want to pick up some of the uh, acrylic flow. And here we go. There we are. Now, I want to take this lighter color and start over way in the back. All right, because your C is a mixture of color. So you make the stroke, make it again, destroy it, and make it again. All righty. And now we have a C that is moving. Okay, now the thing I want to do next is put in the wave. So we'll take that darker color and we want to go halfway between here and the horizon and that will mean we'll be there. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of the thalo blue. All right, a little bit of the thalo green. All right, let's mix that together in our existing color. Okay. 
And here we are. And there we go. See how I'm just got that nice and solid right there? And then we want to set in the bottom. Okay. Because the wave is going to be darker. Sun's back here, so it's the light is hitting the back of that wave. So it would just look dark to us here. All right. Now, I want to add a little more of the thale blue to this color. And from here to here, it's going to be about halfway. All right, see that? All right, I'll go ahead and clean out my brush. Take just a drop of the acrylic flow and let's come in here and set this in. See that? All right, see? Now if we want to, we could put a third one, a fourth one, but I don't really think we need to. All right, now, the main thing, take a little bit of the gesso right on the very, very tips. All right, and I'm thinking that is too thick. All right, let's just go use a different brush. We're going to use the angular shader. And I'm, again, I'm going to come back. It gives me a very thin line. All righty. So I'll just... There we go. And we'll come back here. There we go. And then we'll just come in here. And the water is heading off to the right. So we'll... Just go ahead and pull this all to the right. That thins down the paint quite a bit and takes away in other areas. Okay. All righty. I like how that's looking. Okay, now let's uh, uh, start to work with here. And what we're going to have is, as this ground swell is moving forward up to the beach, we're going to have this wave just kind of collapsing uh, for no other reason than that it's just simply running out of uh, steam. All right, and uh, what that means is the energy underneath is, as it's uh, coming forward onto the shore, is hitting the ground, pushing the water up so high that it becomes so thin that it just crashes down. So let's go ahead and get some more of our uh, gesso. And there we go. And let's figure out where this is going to be. It's going to come right across the top. About like that and then right across there. So I'll wipe off my uh, shader with some, uh, with a paper towel, and then we'll just come here. And what I like is I can get real, real thin. Okay. See that? And when you get to the bottom, just give it the water stroke. And we'll do the same thing over here. See that? So you just want to take your time.
And that means that for the, let's just take some regular titanium white. And we'll use our shader right in here, going right across the, uh, onto the beach. And I want to pull this parallel to the bottom of the canvas right down here. All right, so there it is. And that's the foam coming up on shore. Okay. So just take your time working this out. All right. And then just work out that edge. And again, if it gets too hard, just take your uh, mystic spray and just very lightly spray it. And then we can pull it. See how I can pull that till it fades and looks a little more natural. You just don't want that hard line ending. See how natural that looks in there to us? All righty. Now, let's come back here to this shade. Now, we want to put a little bit of gray here for the foam that's hitting the ground. All right, so the way we do that is a little bit of blue. Okay, a little bit of brown. Brown and blue. That makes gray. All righty. That's kind of a harsh gray. Let's add a little purple to it. Ooh, there it is. That's softening it up. A little bit of light. There we go. I like that color. You like it? All righty. In order to see the foam action, we're going to need a little bit of uh, gray. Okay, so we'll just uh, take a little bit of the uh, gray that we have here. I was just about to lose it, so I went ahead and touched some acrylic flow to the shader. All right, so now just think about it like this, okay? The, this water has pushed up so high because as the swell comes towards the uh, shoreline, the ground gets closer and closer, and all that energy does nothing except make this uh, uh, push the water up to the point that it collapses. So now that it's collapsed, the typical collapse is just to fall over, all right? And it makes a thunderous sound, sound when the uh, water hits the ground. Now, on not in all cases, but sometimes you get a little pipeline, that's what surfers like. And the second sound you'll hear is when that tunnel collapse, okay? A lot of people don't talk about that. Okay, now that I put that up, the first thing that I wanna do, okay, is make sure that my dark is going in the right direction. Okay, so I'll load up the dark again onto the now. I want to bring it over. See that? Like it's going over a pork barrel. All right, so we want to get this coming in. Right before it was just pushing up. Now we're getting it to roll over. And there's a reason for doing that. Okay, there's a reason. There we go. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take some more uh, titanium. I decided to switch brushes here. And here we go, just right onto the tips. So I've got two brushes, all right? 
I've got the uh, titanium white on my Taclon and I've got my uh, fan brush. So there we go, just putting this right in here. Now, we'll go ahead and take the fan brush. Okay, see then? We just need to get it started. We don't have to finish it. Just showing a small amount of the paint coming over the pork barrel. This is really the uh, the dump, but uh, I like the pork barrel. There we go. See that? Just like that. All right, now, the next thing to do is clean your brushes. And even that fan brush, you just touched it with uh, paint. So if it dries, it's going to screw up the tips. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and get into some titanium or some uh, gesso. And I'm just going to take a little touch of this blue as well. Okay, see, there we are, but it's mostly white, just a little bit of blue, and here we go. We want to just right across the tops, see that? Right across the tops. And then we'll take our... Uh, Number four, filbert, flat. And right here, you see the, where the gray is? We want to just kind of blend in between, just like that, see? And that filbert is a, or not filbert, but flat, is a good, good, good scrubber for that. See that? Voila! And uh, next thing, get a little bit of the... Uh, Thalo blue, a little bit of thalo green, and we're just coming back in to get this color. I forgot this was already mixed up. Oh well. Now, it's going to be a big shadow right in here. So you want to make sure that you put that shadow right in there. And while it's still wet, clean your brush. Get the excess moisture out of it, and here we go. See? Bring it up. See how I'm just working that line, scrubbing it hard? You know, people get so surprised when I just really scrub with these... Uh, bristle uh, flats, but don't be, okay? That's what they were made for, for you to abuse and use. All right, there we go. See how much depth this has now by having the lower portions of that wave dark? Okay, let's move right along to adding a little bit of lighter color and waves in the back, so we'll just come take our brush, all right? Just need a little bit, don't need a lot. And here we are. Just barely hit it, the here and there and there and here. Because a lot of times what we have is just, all right, there we go. Then take your brush, clean it, and put a little bit of the acrylic flow right on it. Touch it with the uh, brush to the cloth. And now you can come in here and take just that little bit and a paint you put on there. And you can really stretch it and move it around. See that? And that adds a lot of depth to that. 